Hey everyone, it's David coming to you today from my whiskey den here in Central Ohio. Hey! And, uh, you know, there's been all this I've been watching on YouTube and reading about Pappy Van Winkle. And how it's so good. And basically it's just Weller that's been aged to like 50 years or whatever. Um... Watch some stories about it. Watch some reviews about it. I've watched videos. I think bourbon junkies did like five different bourbons and see what is a good substitute. And I'm like, can we actually age Weller? Not I'm and I'm not thinking I'm going to get Pappy Van Winkle out of it, but can we get a close approximation? Sad thing is, I have no idea what Pappy Van Winkle or the other Wellers taste like because this is the only one I'm used to. So let's go back in time 17 days to the beginning of this experiment and see what we get. All right. All right. Now this video will be a little long. So if you want to zip through the highlights, I'm not going to hold it against you, but just try to get through it. All right. <laughs> it's a lot of work and time's gone into this. So Let's go back in time. Get into your DeLorean and let's go back 88 miles an hour to 17 oh, days ago. I can't believe I'm going to do this. <sighs> Why not? And use the big old 1.75 liter bottle. And age some Weller and see what we get. Because I can't find any of the other Wellers around. They're impossible to find. I can't believe I'm doing this, folks. So we're going to take my Jack Daniels wood chips. These are from Jack Daniels whiskey barrels. So this isn't like anything that we shouldn't be using. Oh, I want to be conservative with this, too. So, let me see what else we got in here. Um, use a couple more. Just use a couple of more of them. And then I'm going to take, I have my almost finished bottle of Weller. I need a little sip of this. Need a little sip of it? to get my, my courage up. Pour that in there. I'm gonna use this bottle that's now empty to put the Weller back into when it's done. And let's fill it up the rest of the way. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just check this. I'm not going to let it go for a week or two. I'm going to be coming back in every day and see what we get. Here's to you, laddies. I'm not quite happy with what's happening yet. It hasn't really gotten much of a color on it, so... Let me show you what my next step is. So what I did, I took two handfuls of those Jack Daniels barrel chips, put them in foil, and then I took a blowtorch to it and charred them up pretty good. Now I took those newly charred chips and I put them in a clean mason jar. So I'm going to now... You guessed it. <laughs> I'm going to pour this here well of bourbon into this new mason jar. And I'm using a funnel. I can pour it just directly in, but I don't want to get and I don't know. I don't want to get these other wood chips in there. I want to make sure we got everything good. A couple of those wood chips fell out. And... Put that there, and I'm going to just top it off with a little more. Oh, well, that's what I'm going to do, because I want a nice, 
brimming full jar of this. So put the lid back on. So day three, like I said, not much of a change. And I'm going to revisit this in a couple of days. I figure daily updates, eh. I just want to show you what's significant. So let's see where we end up next in this video, all right? All right. So here we are, day five. <laughs> and so it's been about two days since I did that charred barrel stuff and added it. And this has gotten so dark. Here, let's oops, spill a little bit of it on the countertop to do a little comparison. It smells really awesome. Oh man, it has taken on such a much darker color. So I don't know how well you can see that. Let me bring it up to the camera over here. And there we go. So this is the stuff out of the jar. This is the stuff out of the bottle. So this is, I mean, again, we're just a few days in, so. That's the Weller. I'm gonna pour that right in there. And this is the, <laughs> who knows what it is. Much, much smoother taste. I'm going to let it keep going. Still has quite that bite at the end, but it's so much smoother and more mellow. And when it started out, I'm just going to pour it right back in there. The alcohol will kill whatever germs. <laughs> and um, let it go for a few more days. So we'll shoot to that part of the video right now. <laughs> See you in the future! So here we go. I figured I'd come in here and take a look at the Weller Special Reserve in the this jar with the charred whiskey barrel chips. And it's looking really, really dark. I mean, well, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to pour some of this into the clean jar. And I will probably just throw some uncharred chips in there to see how it uh, just to maybe mellow it a little bit so look at that look at how dark that got where's my there's a unopened bottle so you got look at that it's gotten so dark so I'm gonna go ahead and I think if I throw just a handful of these in here, just not charred, or not ones that I charred, so let's throw those in, and hopefully this will finish maybe mellowing a little bit, and I'll give this a little try as well while I'm here. So let's get that poured in. I guess we're triple oaking this. <laughs> um, get, well, I'm gonna use one of these little, little, little kid shot glasses I got. There we go. I'm not gonna have a lot. Let's see what we got. Dark. Taking on a very mellow and elegant taste. It's got to be filtered. There's um, some bits, some bits down there on the bottom. But I'm gonna let this go for one more taste Thursday. I'll let it go until yeah, one more day. Tomorrow will be day seven. See what we get. Check it in every day. So. See what happens now, all right? Day 11 
of this being aged. Um, I was going to wait until day 14, but we are planning on being down in Tennessee and Kentucky by the time day 14 rolls around. And I wanted to check in and see how it's going with this aging process. Um, let's find out. I This has taken on such a nice, deep... I, it's not even amber anymore. It's brown. This brown color. The Weller. Wow. Mmm. Caramelly. Smoky. Up in the front. But that's probably because I... It spent two days with that newly charred oak. Um, wow. Still has a bit of a burn at the end, but it's a smoky burn, and that is really, wow. Um, is it Pappy Van Winkle? I don't know, but it is really good. So, <laughs> so here's the scoop. Today is Tuesday, the whatever it is. <clears throat> um, we are going to be going down to Kentucky and Tennessee this weekend. I'm going to let this go for another week. Because Pappy Van Winkle, I mean, 22 years, 30 years, not, I, and it's been a couple of weeks and it doesn't sound long, but when you concentrate in a small jar with all these chips in here, the wood chips, your aging time is getting shorter and shorter. So I'm going to let it go for another week and see where we're at, but... <sighs> Oh my gosh, it is. It's and incredible. we're back. It's now day 17 of this experiment. So there's the bottle I started with. And um, I already took the trouble of filtering and making this, putting it back into this bottle. And let's see what we, <clears throat> what we get out of this, huh? Uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pour a little of the Virgin Weller Special Reserve out of that bottle. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do this. I'm going to put a little bit of Weller in here. And make sure that we have this, this beautiful bottle nicely displayed. And then what we're going to do Ho, 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 ho. I'm going to do the other half with that. And then we're going to do a little, little sampling of that. Straight out of the aged bottle. Okay. And there we go. All right. So right off the bat, let's do our little comparison. And look at that. I got a little bit of this on the tabletop. Um, you know, this poor... poor tabletop has been getting such abuse since I put it on here but don't worry we're building a new whiskey den <laughs> uh, we'll see how that goes all right a new bar coming soon anyway here's the weller here's the aged weller and I mean you can see it's like a pair of 3d glasses over there you know they're like two different colors Obviously, this one that's been aged that 17 days has a nice, like, light iced tea color to it. Um, and uh, even the mix. I mean, it's, obviously, it's a bit darker. So let's do a little sampling. Uh, I'm going to use my, my Weller Special Reserve straight out of the bottle. I mean, And I've done reviews of this. It's, it is one of my favorites. 
It's got that uh, mm, that great Weller aroma. Mm. Classic, very light taste, very elegant and refined. Mm. I can't, I mean, if you've had Weller Special Reserve, you know what it is. If not, I'm sorry you don't. Watch my earlier review. <laughs> and uh, there you go. Now, in comparison, this has taken on a smokier flavor, or smell, nose, smoky snows, snows smoky. Um, probably from the two days with those charred wood chips that I threw in there. Yeah, definite char, definite smokiness on that. It tastes older and more mature, unlike me. <laughs> um, but really nice. Is it Pappy? I don't know. Anyone who's had Pappy or... Um, a different Weller, come on over, try it, let me know. Or better yet, send me some bottles, all right, all right, <laughs> baby. Um, but it is good. I mean, it is a more, um, I don't want to say refined. It's probably more mellow, but it, it, it has a bolder flavor to it. That's, that's the best way I can describe it. It's a bolder flavor. Um, kind of along the lines of, I'd say, Wild Turkey 101, but a weeded version of it. Best way I can describe it. Now, this blend. I was playing Master Distiller just now. You see what I did there? I blended two of the bottles. Hmm. <laughs> uh. That's a nice, that's actually, out of these three, it's probably my favorite. It's got a, a lighter, like a light toffee start at the front of my tongue. Mm. Yeah, that is, that's, that's probably my favorite. Of these two I might just dump this into here I don't know um, it's really nice it's a very pleasant pleasant on my palate that's actually see this is too I don't want in comparison this is too strong and a little overpowering this is more mellow and it's really, 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 really good. Really good. Actually, what I might do is just pour this into halfway into a mason jar and then pour fill, top that off. That This is my favorite of the three. Mm. An elegant flavor to it. Really nice. Nice balance. I might have overdone it. On the 17 days with this, um, it's just that is spectacular. So there you are. My my experiment, I think, was a success. I really don't know. Um, is it, again, I don't know if it's Pappy. I don't know if it's Old Van Winkle. I don't know if it's Poor Man's Van Winkle. I don't know if it tastes like another Weller, like a 107 or Antique or CYBTGIF. But, um, nice experiment. So uh, anyway, there you go. Until next time, it's David coming to you from my whiskey den here in Ohio. I'm hoping your next pour is your best pour. This is my best pour I've had all day. Anyway, we'll catch you later. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. 
Thanks again for visiting me here at my whiskey den. Please subscribe to my channel and we'll be enjoying our next visit together soon. Thanks again for watching.